Hey guys, welcome back to another video of War Talks, and today we have my homemade M4 Sherman. So I had somebody request this, so I'll make a video on it. So this is a, a 1 16th ish size Sherman. Uh, it's roughly what it is. It was 1 35th, and I just doubled all the measurements. So uh, I made this for a school project. And so it's a little bit rushed. You can see some of the sizing really isn't right. Some of the, like the tracks is kind of crude, but it's not awful. You can also see that the paint is two different colors because I ran out of the paint for the hull. And so when I came to the turret, I just had to get as close as I could. So it's a little bit darker. Now the main reason somebody asked me to look at this is because this also has an interior. So I gave this full interior and it also has a full engine. And everything's a little bit off scale just because I don't have anything to really compare it to. So it was all just scratch built from cardboard and all the sizes are kind of just guessed. Um, but we can take off the turret here. And we can see this is the turret. It's a little bit uh, thinner than it should be. It should be a little bit wider, but this is what I got. So I did make the gun breech and everything. I also put a little radio in the back. The seats are obviously a little off scale and not fully in the right place because I couldn't make the mesh basket. And now this is based off of a uh, 75 millimeter Sherman without wet stowage, specifically an M4A3 Ford Sherman. So you can see that there is a spot for the loader here. It's not half cut like a wet stowage Sherman. So there's ammunition on the floor here, turret basket. You can in there, you can also see the sight for the gunner, the gun breech and guard, and then the 30 caliber machine gun. Moving to the hull, you can see into here. So it is just completely white. I didn't do any weathering to it. So you can see the drive shaft, transmission, some extra periscopes, the driver and hull machine gunner's position. Inside of it, back there, it's kind of hard to see, but there are periscopes for both of them. You can see it there. And there also is a dashboard for the driver. And then moving to the back, I added some of the fuel caps. You can see here where I had to cut out the top because I had it too far to the back. And so I needed to move it. So in here, there's the full engine. It's pretty basic. Um, I did also add the fans in the back as well. I didn't add any fuel storage just because I didn't want to block off any of these areas with, uh, with those fuel tanks. You can see the engine in there. It's pretty basic, but it, it gives the back a little bit of weight. And I did also make the drive shaft go fully through the wall and into the engine. So yeah, it's definitely not perfect, but it is definitely a cool little model to have. And since it's all hand built, it's really nice to have.